This is a little bit. Of, this is a little bit of advice on selecting the queue to help people play. Hopefully, this is maple. Um, the first one is very light white coloured maple. And the other one's been used for a while, and it's uh, it's got a nice honey colour with linseed oil. Um, always worry about white ones. That's lily white. This one isn't lily white, but if you get a one that's extremely white, uh, be careful. That hasn't been uh, um, dipped in bleach to to get it to. Um, go white because this can make the, the queue brittle. Um, maple is a good wood uh, for using as well as ash. Um, these are probably the two favourites now. Uh, they've used everything, started with lime and they worked their right away through every single hardwood, uh, any other kind of material, laminated everything to, to try and make shafts out of. And these are the two that sort of like lasted the test of time. This one's ash. Uh, this is hardwood ash. Um, it's English ash, which is the best ash in the world for making cues out of. Um, the the problem with hardwood ash, which it's not a problem, it, it, they, they don't get arrows on them very often. Um, but uh, the arrows is mainly on the imported wood, which is not as good uh, to make the cues out of as uh, as English ash. Um, the other thing you need to look for is a shoulder. Uh, which is here. Uh, if you're getting a cue to use, uh, the shoulder is very important. It's got to be a good size. Um, it's no good getting too thin a shoulder because uh, this will throw the ball. There's a friend of mine got a cue recently, and uh, before I before I even hit a ball, with that, I told him I says he'll be throwing the ball. He says yes. He says how do you know? Because the shoulder um, was too thin. The other thing is <coughs> the butt wood on the cues. Now this one, the far one, that's an ebony butt and that's a cue I use this one is an Indian rosewood butt uh, both these are, are really um, good to have cues made out of you know uh, the other thing is people sometimes get double butted ones this is a, 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 a um, tulip one with a burr two tulip splices, two burr splices this is on an Indian rosewood butt and all um, the other thing you need to look for in a queue is the the tip. Um, the thing is with tip sizes, this is something that you really should be asking the man who's making the queue because every queue plays different. Uh, maple or ash, uh, you can get a queue that plays better at a 10 mil or better at a 9.5 or better at a 10.5. Uh, I've always said if you can stick to about 10 mil and get used to that, you're okay. But <clears throat> ask the queue maker because he'll know how it works. I've been making queues for over thirty six years, and I can usually pick up a piece of wood and tell you what it's gonna whether it's gonna make a good queue or not. Uh, and that's just experience, uh, being taught off the right people. Also, I'm a cabinet maker and a joiner, uh, and I was taught off uh, Tony Ains, who I think in the early seven in the seventies, eighties, and nineties was the best queue maker in the country. I still think he's making queues. Um, but it, he was phenomenal queue maker. Uh, the other, there is a lot of queue makers out there, um, but there's a lot of them that just make pretty queues. They they're not as they're not as uh, good as uh, like the top queue makers uh, who's been who's put that time in and learned how to make them properly. Um, <clears throat> if you want advice on queues, get in touch with somebody that knows what they're talking about. Um, I, I help people, I don't mind helping people and uh, I help them with old cues, new cues, anything if they ask us a question I'll answer it um, I'm dyslexic so sometimes it might take us a bit of time to get back in touch because um, I, uh, I have to get somebody to write for us if it's on, the, on an email the other thing you need to look out for is the ferrules now, these are two ferrules that I think are very good one is a pigeon ring, um, pigeon ring brass ferrule the other one is a, um, a fibre ferrule. These are probably the two best to use. And I'm running out of battery, so I'll 